Hello plant people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I'm a soil scientist. On this channel, I like to take that science and apply to all things plants. And in today's video, we are talking about Dalarama seeds and whether or not they are worth the money. Now, I think if you've ever seen these garden corner seed packets, you immediately just assume that they either have very little to no seeds in them or that the seeds are no good. And neither one of those statements are true because those are honestly the statements that I thought to be true until I actually got some. So what I did is I actually purchased seeds and I did a germination test on all of the ones I could find. And let's just say the results are surprising. If you guys didn't know, on the Gardening in Canada website, I actually have been posting stuff on there that I may not necessarily make a video about, either due to time constraints or that the topic is just simply not broad or thick enough to do an entire video on. So this is one of those topics that I did do a blog post on three weeks before you'll even see this video. So with the blog post, um, I noted some things in there and you can actually go look at the photos on that blog post and see that these are made by Mackenzie Seeds in Canada. And that makes sense to me because I immediately knew that based on the cost of the seeds that they would have had to have been grown and packaged within Canada. The reason being is that the laws and the tariffs on importing um, plants or seeds is actually relatively high. So if you're importing a seed, they usually have to charge you a bit more money for it. Whereas the, the three for $1 packets at the dollar store, it's just impossible cost-wise for them to do so. The second thing I noted is when I opened the packets up, there is the same amount of seeds in there that you would get if you were to go shopping for Mackenzie seeds at a Home Depot, a Superstore, a Loblaws, whatever the case is. So that was also surprising. I thought I was gonna be shortchanged on the number of seeds in the packet, which was not the case. And then the back of the packet uses the same back of the packet that you use with Mackenzie seeds. So it still has the spacing, the lighting requirements, the depth, everything, the start times, everything is on there. So that also is surprising. They have a wide variety of um, seeds as well. They do flowers, they do bulbs, and they also do vegetable seeds. And I personally just grab vegetable seeds. The exception to it was I also grab ooh, morning glories, morning glories. Those were the only ones that weren't uh, technically a vegetable. And Ella really, really likes this stuff. So this is what I got, and I'll give you a closer view on this. But when I took this a video that you're seeing right now on the screen, this was actually before now. So I was a, a, about five days before my germination rates have even increased then. So I got 100%, 95 to 100% germination rates on all these. So these aren't even old seeds or bad seeds. Um, I didn't notice an expiry date on any of the packages. So I'm just, I'm wondering if this is like the last viable year for them, like they wouldn't store well. That's honestly the only thing I can think of, but this is, cr I have an insane amount of seeds, all alive, all doing well. So I don't know, I think it's worth your money. If you're into gardening um, and you wanna save some cash, I mean, they don't have exotic brands whatsoever. They have your basics. I just, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't get them. They are a Canadian uh, business that's selling them, Mackenzie Seeds. They're manufactured and grown in Canada. They're packaged in Canada. So that's crazy. They're viable. There's a lot of seeds per packet, the same amount that you would get at a store. And there's just no reason not to get them besides the expiry date. I don't know if they are on their last leg. Like, I don't know if this is the last year that they're supposed to be around, or if this is just Mackenzie Seed's way of making a little bit extra cash, or just appealing to a different market of gardeners, um, maybe people who are low income or people who aren't sure about gardening yet and don't wanna dump a bunch of money into gardening, which 
makes sense. Ella completely agrees with that. Do you agree with that statement? She says, absolutely, I do. So anyways, you guys, um, that's all I have for this super short video, but I want to instill the confidence in you that Mackenzie Seeds is, or uh, <laughs> the Garden Corner, Dollarama Seeds, have my thumbs up. Germination rates are good. The volume of seeds is adequate. The expiry date is my only concern. And if anyone has kept these seeds for more than one year and noticed that the germination rates are still high, please let me know in the comments. Obviously, I can't test that right now because I haven't tried them before. This is my first year giving them a shot. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and maybe share it to someone that you think would benefit, whether that be a Facebook group, a forum, or just friends and family. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!